Welcome back, I'm the Pope 911 I'm going to be showing you guys both weapons you get for killing the, uh, the Shadows of Anubis. The first target here is the Faithless One, and I'm using a, Ma a Moon's Might to kill him. I have a video on my channel about how to get this awesome sword. But he's a pretty easy kill. I mean, you just keep stabbing away at him. This sword has instant charging, so you can just launch him back on the ground until you get your uh, overpower attack, hit him with it. If he's an issue, smoke grenade him. And simple as that, just rinse and repeat this method. So after you have finished uh, killing Mr. Faithless One, he's going to drop you the better of the two legendary weapons from these two guys. In my opinion, it's all my opinion, but there you go, go over, confirm your kill, poison him if you want. You'll get the Elect of Ra, which is a uh, legendary worry bow with three precision, four bleed on hit, and it's on fire. I don't know if bleed on hit's good anymore for warrior bows, considering this perk here is shattering arrows, which gives all of them bleed on hit when fully charged. It does look badass, though. I love this one. It's got like all the different colors, all the different gems. The nice gold wings on the side there. It's definitely worth picking up for sure. The next guy, the relentless one, I had a little bit of fun messing around with this guy. As you can see, he's already hurt pretty bad because I was messing around, killing him, hitting him with arrows. But use whatever method you see fit to kill this prick. He drops the shittier of the two weapons. The uh, it's a legendary heavy blade. So again, confirm your kill. Last Shadow of Anubis defeated, and he's going to give you, I don't know how to say this, Paul, Paul Mate, Culver, Carver, sorry, Carver. It has a 3 add on hurt, and a 3 add on kill, with a health on kill. It looks, it looks pretty good, I like the Golden Scarab, and the blade itself is pretty good, that giant fan blade. But add on hurt isn't really good on nightmare mode, add on kill is okay. Health on uh, kill is, is pretty good for Heavy Blade considering you get lots of kills. And, I mean, they play like you think they would. The Warrior Bow is... It's a Warrior Bow. It's a pretty damn good one, too. Considering the 3 Precision, which gives you a 30% dispersion, less dispersion on your arrows. And the 4 Bleed on hit, which is a 40% chance. But like I said, the Charging Shot, the Shattering Arrows there, you're going to get the bleed anyway. And the, uh, the Carver, I mean, it's good for that overhead attack, like all heavy blades but it's I don't know it's not my personal favorite I have other heavy blades that I would much rather use than this one but anyway guys that is both weapons from killing the shadows of Anubis if you guys found this video at all helpful give me a thumbs up and please help me out and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content